Let's say you're flying along and you'd like to select an approach. To do that, just go into Airport here, put in the first letter of the identifier. Let's say we want to go to Runway 2, and that has two approaches. Let's select the RNAV approach on that. Enter. And then let's pick this initial approach fix right here. Enter. So it's giving you all the information for your approach right here on the screen. You can see your entire approach laid out here. And you can see we've actually already triggered some tower alerts in the area. Now, if you want to look at your approach chart, just go in here and hit Info. And it automatically brings the chart up here. Now, we've got it magnified quite a bit. Really, we provide all of the uh, altitude information on the screen that you would need to fly the approach. The only piece of information we don't apply on the main screen is your final altitude down here. So as you can see, obviously, depending on the category, it's different all over the place. We don't, of course, have to have this, the chart that size. You can put it to any size you want and just grab it and move it around to look at whatever you need on here. Just tap in the upper left-hand corner two times, and you're back on the main screen. Now, let's just fast forward a bit to the next segment of the actual approach. Because once you get on the actual approach segments, it's going to show you the highway in the sky. And so you'll be able to see the altitudes at all of the segments. You'll be able to see the altitudes of all the segments. So if you go in here and turn the 3D on, Now, you can see the highway in the sky, the picture frames off to the left here. As we blow up the 2D view here, you can see why we're just a little to the right. Okay, so once we center it here, you'll see that we're just about right through the center of these boxes. These boxes are not very big. They are only about 150 feet wide. So the best way to fly an approach is use the 2D to make sure you're on the line segment, but then use the boxes to sort of tweak your flight through. You can also see past th these boxes on this particular segment to Hermer here that you're going to drop down quite a bit on the next segment. Let's just go back here and check for a second and see, see what our minimum is going to be. Let's just say in this case it's going to be 6600. Okay, so you just continue flying until you get to this segment right here. And what we'll do is we'll just speed it up a bit and we'll jump ahead in simulation mode. Now you can see the box is quite a bit below us. And you can see right here we've got to be at or above 6,800 feet and we're quite a bit higher than that. And we continue to fly in. Now, in this case, you can see that the runway is about uh, it's about six miles, the threshold way. And the 3D view is giving you the view that you would see if you were flying and just looking right out the window. But you can magnify this. And to do that, just go in here. And you can really zoom way in. This is kind of helpful if you're flying an approach on a long final and you want to see how you're lined up with the threshold of the runway. In reality, if you looked out the window, you might not even be able to see the airport, but you could certainly see the threshold right here. So as we continue to fly in, the approach right here, you can see every time you see a green box, that means it's another waypoint. In this case, Alonka, and the final red box is at the threshold of the runway. Now we can drop down a little bit more, not a whole lot, once we go across this threshold here. So let's just go in here and fast forward again. So now you would just drop down to your 6600 roughly. 
and you can see exactly how you're lining up with the runway. Of course, another thing to remember is you do not have to have the 3D setting on. You can completely fly the approach on just 2D alone. Now, as we approach the threshold of the runway, let's say we just didn't see the runway. Well, what's going to happen is the minute you fly over the threshold here, it's going to trigger the missed approach, which is just done here. It's now telling us you have to climb to 9,000 feet. In this case, it's straight ahead. And you can see our holding pattern over here. So why don't we do that? So this is how you would fly an approach.